Hi guys, after a lot of debate, I have decided to get the work sharp. Uh, I usually do stone sharpening and hand sharpening myself. I do use guides and things, but uh, I don't usually use machines. Uh, I finally decided to get the work sharp. It came in today. It's very inexpensive. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of you have seen some of the sharpening systems out there for hundreds of dollars, and there's just I just didn't believe that there was any way that something that uh, cost so little could be so effective but uh, according to some videos I saw on YouTube and things like that it seems to be pretty good so what I'm going to do is uh, take it out uh, this is not really an unboxing so I'm not going to film all that but I'm going to take it out and uh, get down and actually do a little demonstration on it I hope give me a second guys okay guys got it unpacked it was there was really no assembly, nothing to do other than just slide the little guard on. Um, this is a cheap boker that I have that I got from a, a knife shop that was going out of business. So I, I'm going to use this one first because I'm not going to uh, do anything that would have any real value that I could lose on the first try. And yes, this is my first try. I haven't even pressed the button yet. All I've done is plug it in. So we're going to give it a try and see how it does. I guess I need to make sure the belt is lined up and everything first. Go ahead and... Like I said, cheap knife. I just got it because I thought the handle looked good. But anyway, let's see. Looks like it lines itself up pretty well. Okay, well, we're going to give it a try. This one here, uh, just so you know. I would never do that. This thing is about as sharp on the back as it is on the front. <laughs> so this is a very dull knife. I may be doing this wrong for those that have seen it, but like I said, it's the first try. Well, it is already significantly sharper. Uh, I wouldn't push it against my skin anymore. I'm gonna run it a few, uh, run it a few, a few more times and see how it comes out. Um, I do like the fact that it doesn't it isn't gonna scratch up my blade too much um, compared to working with a stone, obviously. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna uh, sharpen this up a little more, and I'll let you guys see it in a minute, and I'll give you an update on what it took. Okay guys, what I'm doing now is changing the blade out. I put the, well, it actually already had it on it when it came out of the box. Uh, the red belt was already on it. And uh, I tried it, and it seemed to do pretty well. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to the purple belt, which is for fine work, and uh, see if I can polish it up. And uh, I'll be right back, guys. Well, guys, I probably should have demonstrated the whole thing. It actually went uh, a lot smoother than I thought. Uh, the learning curve was uh, minimal. There really wasn't much to know how to do to be able to use this. Like I said, this is my first time. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that I can't get that myself, but it would take me so long to get that edge that uh, this is a definite time saver. Um, well, I missed, but you can see it's shaving through without any problem and I'm pretty happy with it uh, definitely for the price so. anyway guys uh, I got a few more knives I want to do and I'll see you later hi hey guys I, I had to tend to stop after that last section there uh, but uh, I kept going and I did a few things like the element 2 and uh, this is a, a buck knife that I really want to do a review on anyway. Uh, it's it's a Walmart knife, but uh, it, I I love it. And of course, 
any knife that works good for you is a good knife. So, um, I was uh, looking at it, and I, I set, I put the kitchen attachment on, try it out. This one had gotten fairly dull, and I just this it. I mean, it's amazing what it's doing. But anyway. I just wanted to show you guys that I, I am exceedingly impressed with this. Uh, it was well worth it, and uh, I'd recommend it to anybody. Anyway, I, I promise this is the last time, guys, and uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.